Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampat you are watching Sampat Sfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 or the NFC custom ROM reviews guys back with new video and this is very good ROM available for Poco X3 from long time Android version is 14 this is a pixel OS not the pixel experience this is pixel OS February 5 2024 is the security patch baseband version kernel version is 4.14.366 UI is the kernel build number you can see from past updates it has been good here and it is going to be better and this is typical home screen what we can get and these are the quick settings toggles what we have let me decrease a little bit of brightness and these are the toggles available and in the edit section you also get these extra toggles if you want to add them on the quick settings toggles you can do that and this is app drawer and these are the apps currently I am using here and from here i will directly go into settings as you can see the smoothness in the ui is really really good here into system into gestures you get navigation mode gesture navigation hide gesture bar option is there apart from that uh, there is an option to increase that this is a pixel lens you won't get that a uh, lift to check the phone press and hold power button to power menu or advanced restart button you can enable from here swipe to screenshot and double tap to check the phone you can enable them and if i go back here and again digital well-being and parental controls that's there security and privacy features more security you get uh, no app lock is not given extend and unlock is given anyhow i'll show the fingerprint unlock first and then face unlock as you can see the fingerprint unlock is very much fast and accurate to unlock your smartphone using that this is the volume panel what we can get in this particular room on the face unlock as you can see recognizing face it's very much quick to unlock your smartphone using this particular arm the gaming experience is also going to uh, explain very soon stay tuned till the end of the video and if you're first time to this channel guys hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon if you like the video give it a like and this android 14 style of lock screen customizations are still present nothing new here more wallpapers Again, you get a wallpaper emoji workshop and other wallpapers are pre-installed like a pixel device in the home screen again themed icons is there app grid uh, up to 5 into 5 is available yeah let me make it 5 into 5 only yeah. as you can see this is how the themed icons looks like in the home screen and this is a quick settings toggle there is no lag whatsoever the smoothness of the ui is really good i have been keep on telling this and the camera application here as you can see this is the basic and for camera application i have given the link in the uh, whatsapp group guys kindly join my whatsapp group dedicated to poco x3 slash nfc there i have provided the gcam the arno build gcam link you can use that x uh, sorry xml file also has been shared long back ago in the community section also you can check out that if you want to use any other gcam port like lmc other things you can use that before seeing some results i want to continue this yeah battery again you get performance mode here yeah usable power mode battery usage battery saver again you get these options here uh, battery manager battery percentage charging control optimization profiles has been given battery widget again it's an android 14 style in the display again you get all these options here dark theme pitch black condition those are still available as you can see use black theme that's how it looks like it's really good you can definitely use this as a diary driver live display again you get reading mode and color calibration of rgb strength you can adjust colors options has been given here refresh it keep it to 120 adapt to refresh it if you want you can enable from here tap to wake is then tap to sleep full screen apps refresh it perhaps and additional display features just don't enable that it will drain the battery of your smartphone whenever it's needed you can enable that google pay all the things are working fine let's see some results here yeah uh, we'll start from the android benchmark this is three yeah three lakhs eighty three thousand triple one is the score here temperature raise was 5.1 degrees celsius and five percentage of battery has been dropped during this and that testing 714 is the single score 1824 is the multi score and at 14 lakhs 4.1 4.3 36 u8 kernel has been used safety and status get past no need to worry using payment application and this is trm information l1 certified hdr10 support is there but for time being i am not making these videos in hdr because some people 
told that in the poco x3 if i'm watching this particular video if it is a hdr then it is showing white kind of thing hence this video i have disabled the hdr but options are available with me but you people said not to use that 341 is a vulcan and this one just tested that and charging slowly it shows 69 percent around 518 and 523 you can see 77 percent what it means is the fast charging support is there but just it is showing charging slowly that's how these results and all the ua is really smooth using the headphones and making calls everything is fine here no need to worry regarding that as you can see the direct video call feature everything is there and you also get that call recording feature but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call it's cool uh, if you are looking for any different rom apart from evolution x then you can try this out it is very simple actually lineage OS standard 14 version is already out in my channel you can check out that there are a lot more options for you guys to choose the particular rom here but as of now this is also a great rom from long time this is being in great here let's see what all the graphic settings we get in this particular rom. Coming to graphic settings here, you will be getting just 40 fps smooth plus ultra, nothing more here. Anyhow, this is a simple pixel kind of experience. Here you get pixel OS, this is, you won't get any gaming ROM or anything like that. But if you want to play casually, then it's fine. But anything, if you want like gaming experience, then you must have that ROMs there. Evolution X is little bit better compared to this. You can try that for gaming. There is a lag you can notice here. Up to the 40 FPS it is fine. But beyond that. Yeah. This is the gaming experience in this Pixel OS guys. For uh, time being this is also a very good ROM available for Poco X slash NFC. If you are using previous builds you can go down and flash this ROM and my recommendation is always a clean flash method check out description what firmware i used and what is the flashing method everything will be given in the description and the smoothness in the ui is really really good once you start using that you will go into understand guys this is sampath uh, signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now